I want to do something. I want to pray for the woman who has a husband that snores. <laughs> Ladies, if your husband snores, raise your arm. I want to pray for you. <laughs> keep it up. Keep it up. I have an aunt who died from secondhand sleep apnea. This can kill you, ladies. You know that. Because men don't understand. They're like, they don't know that you were praying for him. Lord, send me a prince. We're not going to sleep at night anymore. We're going to pray and talk and worship you. And you get married and wedding night at midnight, he's... But you're still madly in love. You go, oh God, my honey needs oxygen. Tilt your head, honey bun. You're making little noises. Two years later, you still have not slept since wedding night. But now, your attitude has changed. He's... But you look at him and look up and say, God, Moses killed an Egyptian and you forgave him. Let's just call it a pillow fight that went wrong. Ah! Five years later. You know what? You no longer sleep next to him anymore. You just stand there staring at him. I don't respect you. Look at you, you oxygen hog. You suck the roof when you inhale. And you start him like a dog. Roll over, roll over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lay down. Ten years later, he has a machine now. You look at him and say, I should have listened to my mother. She knew something was wrong with him. <laughs> Fifteen years later, he's older, he's drooling, he got hair in his throat. Look at him and look up and say, God, just take him. I sacrifice him back to you. Just like Abraham put Isaac on the altar. Here you go. And don't send me a goat. I'm going to keep the goat. I'd rather hear bad and...